Alright, so this is day 16 of the 30 day video challenge and I'm really excited to be trying out a little different scenery today and some different lighting for you guys so that I am not so dark and possibly blurry and just not clear but also just to get a little away from the venue that I was and now that I'm comfortable on camera I feel confident about doing that. So. Um, I sourced yesterday on some of my social media pages um, to my fans and likers, and uh, we're photo bombed. Uh oh. Uh oh, is right. Um, about uh -oh. what people would like to hear about from me. And one of my mm. Google Plus connections asked mm. me about the origin of my healing center and its name, which is my other business. Um, now, the name of my healing center is Phoenix Flame Healing Center, and I've got to say, despite the fact that I am a highly creative kind of person, um, I don't really plan my words out. Um, as you can see, I'm, I kind of fly by the seat of my pants when I'm talking to you, and just roll with it. So sometimes you'll see flubs and... And that's just me in the moment right now. So... Um, when I was in high school, like so many of us, I used to doodle, and I carried that habit throughout my uh, life into adulthood, and I don't draw as much as I used to, but in one of these sessions of just randomly drawing, I found myself drawing a candle, and I drew this really pretty flame, and I said, you know, that, that's okay, I like it, it's nice, you know, it's simple, it's obviously a candle, but I also have this penchant to kind of draw abstract shapes that resemble things like kind of the movement of fire into a shape or if you were to cloud watch and you kind of see this vague shape it's obviously a cloud but it kind of resembles this other thing too and I found myself making this kind of flamey fiery picture and it looks like a bird so Phoenix Flame was born. Now, what I did with that further is I did a little manipulation, I did a little tracing, and because they, one was on the back of a notepad and the other was on a random piece of paper, and I put it together so that I made a candle flame um, that was the image. And if you look at my website, um, phoenixflamehealingcenter.weebly.com is what it is right now, you'll see that Phoenix flame image that I have um, been using and I've edited it a little bit in uh, Photoshop but it's that raw image that I've used for years. Now when I developed this image it was yeah. right near the start of my business and like, ah. a little bit before 2008 so I didn't have the solidification, I didn't have the website or social media profiles or my presence really even growing. I was just growing the business itself and what it was built for and its mission and everything like that. So I didn't have a tagline, needless to say. And actually just last year, I was working a lot to um, develop my store and my shop's website and everything like that. And I did a huge rebrand. Um, and I'll be happy to talk to you about that in a second. Um, but I did this huge rebrand and I said, okay, well, I've, I, I ended up changing my name actually. I went through a couple of iterations of, alright, I want a tagline because my name is very clear to me and what it means, and once you have seen my store, it'll be pretty obvious what it means, but really, I want to kind of put my mission out there in a clear fashion that lets you get a little glimpse real quick in a sentence or less of what I do without getting too wordy and without having to be overly simplistic, um, but still keep with my style. Well, when I did all that, I decided, well, I need to do that with the other business. So, um, I let that meditate and sit with me, and I found myself, um, picking Transforming Wellness. Now, for anybody who knows the Phoenix, Phoenix is a mythical bird, it is consumed by fire, and in its the consummation of its body, it is um, reborn, and you'll see images of a great giant phoenix on fire and a flame, and there'll be this tiny egg at the bottom. And as it 
goes and falls with the ashes it, ashes it can be reborn. So it's a continue it's the continuous life cycle. It never really dies or goes away, which is really awesome. Well, another Im bit of imagery that I am in love with and actually calls to me even more than that is that of the butterfly. And the butterfly has a rather short adult life cycle, but it is also very indicative of change, delicateness, strength, and just a major shift from one part of your life to another, which is very important in the imagery of my business. So it all kind of goes together. There's a strength involved. There's a dramatic and sometimes traumatic change where we decide that what we are doing, where we are, and the life and the way we are existing does not work anymore, and we need to kind of burn away all of those old outmounted habits and thoughts. Um, and honestly, today, I really hadn't thought about it before this, but that is just the natural imagery that I'm getting from it, that it means to me, and the connection that I can make. So, I'm going to cut it off here, but tomorrow, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my rebrand and how I went from FaithWorks to Aridia's Hand and why. So, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. You have a great day.